It is the video going viral nationwide. The lead singer from Puddle of Mud going for a ride at DIA on the oversized baggage carousel. Ever since we showed you this video after the Oscars, you've been asking us why it's such a petty crime. 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger is live at DIA finding out why going into a secure area is not a federal crime, Marshall. Well, I've talked with Denver police, I've talked with federal agents, I've even talked to former DIA security, and they tell me if it happens on an aircraft or involves an aircraft, that's when federal agents get involved. But if it's anywhere in this building, like this controlled area, with a keypad, whether you can access baggage behind here or get to the airfield, it's essentially a local crime investigated by Denver police. It's video that has reached half a million people online in just one day. Wes Scantlin, the lead singer from Puddle of Mud, playing on the baggage carousel at DIA. This move, going behind the scenes to a secure area, got him arrested, but only for misdemeanor trespassing. There's not a distinction in the regulations between if you go into where the bags are sorted or where the bags are loaded, or if you walk out a door that access as a commercial aircraft. Jeff it's Price is the former assistant security, security director at DIA. Via Skype, he told us that ignoring the keep out and keep off signs and then going into secure areas, even if it's a door to the airfield, is essentially a local Denver police issue. If you're not doing anything else, it really doesn't rise much above the level of a regulatory violation or trespassing. Scantlin never came back to Colorado for court last week, and trespassing is not the type of crime police will go to a different state to track him down, even though he had access to an area that could compromise air safety. We are nowhere near any aircraft, uh, and it would take a pretty big effort in order to get to an aircraft from here. Uh, you would have to hike for probably a couple of miles in some tunnels that you weren't familiar with in order to get out there. Any airport, if you can access the baggage system, you have the potential to introduce a prohibited item or a bomb into somebody's bag that gets put onto an airplane. It's here in the security lines where TSA would actually investigate or fine you if you violate any rules in this area. But even stuff here is also investigated by Denver police. Generally, again, FBI and the U.S. Marshal's Office, sorry, the U.S. Attorney's Office won't get involved unless it's on an aircraft. Reporting live at DIA, Marshal Zellinger, 7 News.